Hey guys, I'm going to do a quick video for you today. Uh, as many of you have heard, uh, the assault weapon ban part of the uh, gun bill has been dropped by Harry Reid in the Senate. Um, this was the assault weapon uh, ban proposed by Diane Feinstein. and uh, Apparently they, they've come to the realization that they don't have the votes for that portion of it. So it's been dropped at this point and that's a fantastic victory for us pro second amendment guys but it's not a time to let a guard down either um they're still they're still hard at work they still got plenty of other angles are coming at us at and um so we got to keep writing our congressman keep up the pressure uh, keep supporting the nra and keep fighting for our rights but um but like i say that's a good thing that it's been dropped uh, miss feinstein's attempt to get rid of these uh fine uh, ar-15 sporting rifles has failed at this point so we're going to keep enjoying them and um, uh, keep fighting for our rights but um i can say I, I what i can see though like i say let's not, don't let our guard down yet i mean yeah the assault weapon ban part's gone at this point but um man they got other things up their sleeve They're, they got the that universal background check and the magazine capacity ban on these standard 30 rounds I believe that's where they're going to get us, or they're going to try, and hopefully we'll have enough people fighting to prevent that as well, because ultimately, that universal background check that they all want is nothing more than gun registration, a national gun registry, that's what they want, and I'm telling you, that's not a good thing, that's something that, I, that scares me about as much as the assault weapon portion, what did, but um, uh, that universal background check is nothing more than uh, registry in my opinion like I say i think that there may be some moderates riding the fence that yeah we want to get reelected. we we we're not going to support the assault with a man but you know there may be this big compromise where you know we can we, we will definitely uh, support limited magazine capacity um and we definitely definitely want this universal background check where all these gun show loophole will be closed where basically any private transaction you're going to have to go through an FFL, um, get your permits, get it registered, fill out all the paperwork. And, you know, I mean, I've, I've bought tons of guns um, through private sales and, and uh, gun shows, and uh, never been an issue. Um, and I don't think it should be now. But um, anyways, just, just a quick video. Like I say, most of y'all probably already heard that at least the assault weapon ban portion is gone for now. And um, that's a great victory, but we got to keep fighting and um, um, keep supporting our brothers out there. And... Uh, Anyways, guys, that's just a quick video. I appreciate you watching. Y'all have a good one.